This is a retail model. You can tell by the numbers when it was made and the dates of manufacturing. And this investigation that I've conducted has been going on for several years, but first I thought it was just loose wiring, and then I realized it was something wrong with either the solder connections would loosen up from the pushing of the button, just normal wear and tear, or the bulb in the wall control would change tolerance and confuse the motherboard thinking it was in vacation mode or it was just to turn the lights off and on. But the issues would develop with the customer. They would push the button to open the door, no response. Then sometimes you push the button to open the door and while it was opening the lights would be off and when it reached full open the lights would come back on. When you push the button to close it, lights would go off during travel. When it got closed the lights would come back on. So this wall button I tried at a second location and it responded the same way. The wall, the garage door opener acted just like the other garage door opener did so I just kind of hung on to it, documented the numbers and give you some close-up pictures here of the uh, connectors but I'm sure it's bulb tolerance that causes this problem so it's too bad these little things would happen and make the Genie product look bad and possibly persuade people to buy a LiftMaster. So, you know, maybe there's uh, some information you can pass on to the technicians if they get a call about this. Maybe they can uh, clarify by switching the polarity on the on the button itself. If it eliminates it, then you found the problem. I had a friend. He had a garage door open, and I thought he had the wiring wrong because the wall button wasn't lit. So. He turned it around, or I did, and I got the wall button to work, but he was still having trouble. And I checked optical and everything. Finally, uh, just about a month ago, I told him, you know what? After I found this problem out, I told him, take the uh, wall button off the wall and break that bulb out of there. And then reattach the wall control. And he did, and he said it works great now. It works when he wants to. And he doesn't even pull his car in and out. He opens it up about 12 inches so the cat can go in and out. So people use their doors for different uses, but boy, do they ever get frustrated when they're pushing that button and nothing's working the way it should. Well, I hope this is beneficial. Uh, this is David of Colt Garage Door Service. Thank you for listening.